May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be all acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Amen. If you haven't guessed, this is going to be Sunday. That's always amazing. I don't understand Saturday Sunday. I don't understand this concept of three and one and one and three. It's beyond my comprehension. And apparently beyond the comprehension of many people who have tried to explain it. I haven't read anything that explains it to me sufficiently. So I started with just a simple little thing. I've got a book on what each Sunday is and what not. And it tells me. The Trinity Sunday is a time to reflect on the nature of God and the experience of God. Experience struck a chord with me. I've had lots of experiences. And it was experience that I believe drove the church to the Trinity, the doctrine of the Trinity. Now it took it a long time to get there. Nicene Creed came before the doctrine of the Trinity. Talk about it into the fourth century when they started to reflect on this. That's one commentator put it. People in Jesus' time experienced Jesus himself. These stories were written in the Gospels and whatnot, and people looked at it. And they began to draw conclusions. This man acted like God. He did things that only God can do. He spoke and acted as judge, redeemer, and Lord. And he proclaimed many times that the Father and I are one. They reflected on this. And Jewish, the Hebrew scriptures, God in the Hebrew scriptures, wasn't sufficient to explain Jesus. So they had to take the word of God and expand it to include Jesus and what he did. After all, God became incarnate in Jesus. Go a little further now we get Pentecost and we get the Holy Spirit us. And again, it was experience. They experienced the great power of the Holy Spirit. It enabled them to do things, them to do things that they didn't think could be done. And again, the Hebrew word of God was not sufficient to explain. Miracles and power they found in the Holy Spirit. They put it together. God is God. God is Jesus. God is the Holy Spirit. Jesus is God. Holy Spirit is God. Three in one and one in three. They did not go over with everything. But it is part of our faith. We're called to accept that. But I still struggle with this concept. How does the Spirit, how do we in today's world experience the Trinity? Well, I struggle and struggle. And on a Friday night, I always take my wife Shirley to dinner. We have had a long, stressful week. And as our custom, when we got to where we eat dinner, I stopped in the lounge. We enjoyed a beverage. I sit back, relax, I'm on. And we were doing that. And all of a sudden, an idea came to me. And I learned if I don't write them down, they'll escape. <laughs> so I said, Shirley, empty that cocktail. <laughs> and I always have a pen with me, and I start. Start making notes. 
one God. We all believe that there is just one God. Okay. Now, what is God? What is God? Now, Father Alex and I have discussed this many times. Not always come up with the same answer. God is love. Not love that you and I know it in relationships with one another and our spouses and whatnot. This is a love that we have yet to learn from It is a deep, profound love. Okay. So far, I'm preparing. How has he expressed it to us? God created everything that he is, was, and will be. Out of his love, he didn't need it. Out of his love, he created this. And what did we do? We kind of messed it up. He gave us one simple rule when we eat the fruit of this tree. It didn't take long for human time to say, you know, we might like that. The devil said, oh, don't worry about God. said, he's not telling you the truth. And they made a choice. And they rejected the God's word. God still loves us. He sent the prophets. That the tame heart. He tried. He tried. And then he said, I've got to go there. He became incarnate in Jesus. Jesus loved us. He tried to teach us, tried to show us the way to do it. He simplified the laws. <coughs> Eventually got it down to two. God, you love your neighbor. And we did not do well with just two rules. And we, as I told Father House, we kind of mucked it up. And we crucified him. God still loves us. Jesus still loves us. Pentecost, it's not coming. That's the Holy Spirit. I'm going to continue to work with you. Sending my Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised, so that the Holy Spirit would open for us the words that we so that we could understand what Jesus told us. And to carry it further, what he wished he would tell us if we could have understood. That Holy Spirit still is with us today. Everywhere we go, we have this Holy Spirit that is with us. God. 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 We've experienced it three different ways. Through creation, through teaching, through the Holy Spirit. It is still God. He has not given time. Are we going to listen to this Holy Spirit? Learn. Gain wisdom. And turn our lives to what God has intended us to do. That's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He's been with us from the beginning. He's lived with us, and He is still with us. Amen.